Welcome to Flash from Scratch, Tutorial 36, Draw a Car. Um, this is a beginner's tutorial. I'm going to show you how to use the drawing tools to draw a car. I've tried about five times. I'm not a good drawer, so I'm going to trace a car, and in doing so, I will teach you how to use the drawing tools. So in order to do that, I'm going to open a new FLA. I'm keeping Action Script 3, although I'm not going to write any Action Script. And remember, this is for beginners. So I'm going to, I'm going to call this layer Pick, P-I-C. Now, if you want to draw a car by tracing it, you can follow through that way, or you can just follow me as I draw it. In order to get my picture, I've got to bring it in, import it, import it, import it to the stage and when I do that it's gonna prepare this it's gonna take me to my computer and I got this picture of a car that I've used in several of my tutorials and at the same time it goes into something called the library I have my library right here that's that car there so I'm locking that layer clicking here so that I can't write on it I can't cause it any harm. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to come down here insert a layer and I'm going to call this the body of the car B O D Y. That's going to draw the body and the tool I'm going to use is called the pencil tool. It's right here. Click on it. Come up here. Now you may have this toolbar over here somewhere and then open the properties panel. I have black. If not click on it you get that eyedropper, pick black, and I want the stroke here to be three, and now I'm going to start. Now, notice I'm starting here, and I'm going to draw a line right to here. Try to do it in one motion. And I exaggerated it, because if I hide, click here, this eyeball on the picture, that's the line I drew. See that? I'm now going to do the same thing from here. I'm going to go right here in one motion, starting about here, and draw on that line. Now, why am I doing that? If I try to draw a circle, for example, and don't quite make that circle join, and sometimes you can get really close and not see it. And if I come down here, there's a bucket called fill. If I click on that and go up to the properties panel, and it says bucket fill and I pick a color say red and I try to fill that I can't because there's a little little opening right here so basically what I'm doing when I do this this is I'm taking and making sure that that's not there by actually exaggerating and going over it see that now that when I pick my fill bucket that will fill I'm just going to highlight these and delete them. They don't need them. Just demonstration for you. So now I got here. I want to go back to my pencil tool. Now I'm going to draw this arch right here. From here up like that. And while well, I'm at it, I'm going to draw in these supposedly I think are lights or something here that I put here. Now I'm going to draw the line that starts here all in one motion if I can. I'm going to start here. I'm going to start off the edge here. I'm going to go to the top of the door in front of the windshield. Come down. Come down in one motion and ex expand it. So again here if I come down to this picture right here under this eye and click it. There's what I got drawn so far. Don't look like too much. I still have my pencil tool. I can see by this frame around it. If not, click it. I now want to draw this part of the window. So I'm going to start here with the actually I'm going to start down here beyond the door. I'm going to go up to the door, up into here, around here. This is the roof of my little car. And down like that. Okay? I'm going to draw, I got this line done. I'm going to draw the rest of this door here. So I'm going to start here. All in one motion. Up. Cutting through that. 
going up through here and right through the roof like that. I'm going to again hide this picture. Now, looks look, look much like a car. I need this line here, so I'm going to start here, come down, and again expand it apart past past that. Now I got to do this trunk, so I'm going to start here, go around here, stay on the inside, expand it past it. Draw this little light or whatever it is. Oh, I don't like that too much. I'm going to just go to Z. Control Z. This will erase something. There. Now, the wheel wells. Start here. Come up. Pass there. This wheel well. Come up past here so now let's click here and get rid of these extensions that I don't need I don't need this one here just click on it and delete click and delete see that get rid of all these hanger overs and again this is because I want to make sure that my fill color fills And with a little bit of luck, when I try to fill this car, it will fill with red. So fill bucket, come down here, make sure red is selected, and dump fill here, and dump fill there. There's my car. Now all I gotta do is put wheels on it. Lock all the layers, click here. Select the body layer, insert a new layer, call it wheels. W-H-E-E-L-S. I want to see the size of the wheels. There they are. Over here, I'm seeing a rectangle. If you see an oval, you're all right. If not, click this corner. Select oval tool. Now, this is the stroke. I want to make that quite wide. So go up to the properties panel here. Oval tool. Let's make that about, just to try it, uh, 10. Okay. I'm just going to draw a line. Yep, 10 is going to be good. And make sure I have in here, in the center, no no fill. So I'll come up to there. See that thing there? It's a white with a red line through it. Click that. Holding the shift down, make a circle. There it is there. Okay, I have a circle. Now I want to put something inside that circle. So I'm going to hide this body and I'm going to hide this one. There's my circle that I'm dealing with. I want to make that look like something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock that layer, insert another layer, and call this one spokes. S-P-O-K-E-S. -E going to come down here. Uh, this, will you see this pencil? This is called a stroke. Pick up a gray, any gray you want that gray there pick up straight line tool and because I have this on a separate layer it can't hurt this just draw a line just as long as it's a straight line highlight it right click highlight it now we need the alignment panel my alignment panels here uh, if you don't have it here go up to window find alignment click on it and this doesn't matter but we'll click that align to stage click on transform in here it says rotate click here 45 that's 45 degrees click this one two three times till you have that wheel like that see that lock that layer Unlock the wheel layer. Select that wheel frame. Pick up your selection tool. Highlight it. You can see it there. Get that crossed 
crossed uh, arrows, right click, cut that. So it's gone. Lock that layer, unlock the spokes layer, select frame one, come up here, right click, paste in place. And while it's still fuzzy, use your arrow keys and sort of center it best you can. See that? I can move it. So my right, control Z puts things back to where they were. Now, click that and you can delete that one, delete that one, delete that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And I want to put a little dark circle in the center. So I'm going to pick up uh, here, pencil, I want no stroke, and come here and pick up a darker color than what I have there. I think I'm going to go with that one. I think that's darker. My oval tool, make a little circle, hold the shift down, highlight it, and drag that close as I can to the center, and using my arrow keys, try to center that as best I can. Lock all the layers. Come here, show me the body. There it is. Now you can see my tire is on front of my car. I don't want that, I want it under the car. So click the body and drag it, click on it, make sure it's highlighted. Click on it and drag that to the top. See that? Unlock the spokes layer, select frame one, highlight it all, get those crosshairs, right click, copy, right click, paste in place, use the arrow key, drag it over, And there's my car. Now, I think they're, those wheels are a bit big, but I leave that to you if you want to make them a bit smaller. This frame here called spokes is those. I can click that off, click that off. This frame here has nothing on it. Just the, That's the body. This is the spokes. This one here has nothing on it. So I can right-click delete this layer delete it and I can right click delete this layer and there's my car now there's two things that I want to add I'm going to select my pencil tool make sure I have the black and just a little oops I gotta I gotta unlock a layer so we'll unlock the body's layer I got the pencil select frame one selection tool highlight click off to the side when it's fuzzy like that just pick up your selection tool click off the side pick up the pencil tool I need a little handle here to get in whoa properties panel let's go down to three again we were before put a little door handle here and this line here I just want to extend oops not this one this one that's coming down here I just want that to come down like that. Yeah, that's it. Hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learn.